Latin American tourists are once again flocking to Miami. That's great. It's great for Miami, it's great for the tourists, but the whole thing makes me pretty nervous. According to airport figures, the number of Brazilian, Argentine, and Colombian visitors to Miami is way up. You see the tourists everywhere. They walk along Lincoln Road or Aventura Mall carrying big shopping bags, and they've become a lifeline for South Florida's real estate industry. 80% of all condos sold in downtown Miami this year have been bought by foreigners, according to the Condo Vultures research firm. 80%. The reason, of course, is that Latin American currencies are strong and the dollar is weak. The US is cheap for Latin Americans. The big question is whether Latin America's bonanza is for real or if it's a financial bubble. It's true that Latin American economies are growing strongly, but it is also true that the big Latin American crisis in recent years, Mexico's crisis of 1995, Brazil and Colombia's crisis of 1998, Argentina's crisis of 2001, they were all preceded by the rapid appreciation of their currencies. To find out more about why I'm a little bit nervous about this whole phenomenon, read my column on this website and don't miss our weekly Spanish language TV show, Oppenheimer Presenta, on Veme TV.